Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So, biographer Angela Levin, who penned a tell-all book about Prince Harry titled Harry, a biography of a prince, shared her thoughts on Meghan Markle in a new interview with Sky News. Levin, who has been critical of Meghan's actions in the past, called the Duchess of Sussex, a nobody who is hanging on to Prince Harry's tales. Angela Levin discussed news that Meghan Markle would join Prince Harry at the opening of the 2023 Invictus Games in Germany. She claims that Meghan doesn't belong at the event. I am furious that she's going to the Invictus Games, Levin said. This is what Harry is really proud of. She continued, However, he's usually behind Meghan like a servant. He should actually stand in the spotlight and take a bit of joy for himself. Subsequently, Levin believes Meghan should have stepped back and allowed Harry to receive the spotlight from the Invictus Games alone. She's coming, and she's going to talk to the 500 people taking part about courage and reliance, Levin says. It's ironic and would be funny if it wasn't so tragic. She's not courageous, and she's got no resilience. Levin concluded that Meghan's participation is part of her grand design. She makes things difficult and has to be super grand when she's a nobody and hanging on to Harry's tales to have a title. Angela Levin is critical of Meghan Markle's past behaviors and believes she continues to repeat previous mistakes. The royal author also slammed Prince Harry for acting like a servant toward his wife. She thinks she's a wonderful woman who knows everything, and Harry agrees with her. However, he shouldn't be so servant-like toward her and listen to everything she says, Levin declared. Levin believes the Duchess of Sussex still plays into a victim image. Therefore, she feels that the Invictus Games, where she will speak to soldiers who have been wounded physically or psychologically, is a good fit for the former suit star. For the better part of one year, Meghan has distanced herself from several key events in Prince Harry's life. Levin claims she has kept out of everything Prince Harry has been doing when he was promoting Spare when he was going to court. Also, at the coronation, she was nowhere to be seen. When he needed his wife there, she's not there. However, she will be there for this major event, and they will hold hands, and it will look phony beyond phony, and that's not what it's all about. The 2023 Invictus Games will be held in Dusseldorf, Germany. This is the sixth Invictus Games event with a theme of A Home for Respect, per the game's official website. The Games will host 500 competitors from 21 nations and their family members and friends. These athletes will compete in 10 different events. Prince Harry developed the idea for the Invictus Games after returning from his first deployment to Afghanistan. He met wounded service members and wondered how they would return to the types of lives they previously enjoyed before their injuries. After spending several years trying to figure out how to make such a competition work, servicemen and women love challenges, he said. The first Invictus Games was held in 2014 in London. The 2023 Invictus Games will be held from September 9 until Sept 16, 2023. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will arrive in Germany for the first day of the competition. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.